हे भगवान thy child's tiny hands have gathered these small flowers from the immense garden of thy glory and woven them into a clumsy garden but it is offered at the divine feet with a big noise calling it all about shivananda the fragrance and the beauty of the color belong to thee it is thy own unsurpassable love for the children that makes thee accept this too it was said of lord krishna that everything about him was sweet it is true of bhagwan shivananda today dr kupu swami transformed himself into swami shivananda and the austere stern and hard task master swami shivananda has somehow mysteriously vanished when and how no one knows the shiva we see in our midst today is the most lovable concrete manifestation of divine life may that love dwell in our hearts sadgurudev sri swami shivananda maharaj ki jai Abide in peace and happiness by Guru Dev Sri Swami Sivananda There is restlessness everywhere selfishness greed wrath lust or have a king fights skirmishes petty quarrels are polluting the atmosphere and creating discord disharmony and unrest bugle is blown and soldiers are marching in the battlefield to kill their enemies One nation is waging war against another nation for acquiring more dominions and more powers. Side by side peace movement is working silently for bringing concord, harmony and peace, for eradicating the dire ignorance, the root cause for human sufferings and disseminating divine knowledge or knowledge of the self and infusing devotion into the hearts of people. Mysterious is the universe still more mysterious is the silent workings of the unseen god who prompts rajasic people on one side to wage war and the sadvic people on the other side to start peace centers for the dissemination of spiritual knowledge and for bringing peace to the suffering humanity at large The goal of life is the attainment of self-realization or god consciousness There is one supreme undying intelligent principle or essence or atman or brahman or the supreme self who dwells in the chambers of your heart. He exists in the past, present and future. He is existence absolute, knowledge absolute and bliss absolute. Ignorant man vainly searches for his happiness and peace in perishable external objects that are conditioned in time, space and causation. He has no peace of mind. His desires are not gratified. He amasses wealth, begets children, gets titles, honors, name, fame, and yet his mind is restless. He has no abiding joy and lasting happiness. He is still in want of something. He has no feeling of fullness. This feeling of fullness and eternal satisfaction can be obtained by realizing one's own self through spiritual sadhana, self-restraint, purity and meditation and by attaining the highest rung in the yogic ladder peace and happiness can be found only within you cannot certainly find it in external objects wealth women children property palatial buildings cannot give you the everlasting peace look within realize your oneness with that one supreme self who lives in the chambers of your heart when you are established in that which is an ocean of peace and happiness you will not be shaken even by heavy sorrow loss or failures in harmonious and disagreeable vibrations you will tide over all difficulties or crises of life very easily and will come back with triumph in all experiences mysterious is this peace marvelous is this peace realize this peace that possesseth all understanding through yoga sadhana and be free Float in this ocean of peace and rejoice in the peace of your own self. Why do you, O oh friend, 
Cling to this material life of disappointments, failures, diseases, afflictions, sorrows, and uncertainties. Penetrate into the hidden depths of the vast ocean of eternal life within. The real Kailas and Manasas Sarovar are within you. The fountain of joy, the spring of the sacred water of immortality, the vast lake of ambrosial nectar, the celestial jewel that bestows on you whatever you want, are within you. What is this ephemeral existence with all sorts of mundane troubles, this evanescent life like a mushroom or a bubble when compared to the sweet eternal life in the soul within? Will you not start now on a spiritual expedition with determination and an iron resolve to explore the infinite realms of peace and bliss within? May peace and happiness abide in you all. Swami Sivananda, 